welcome all of you to the next training session on configurator actually so today we are going to discuss about configurator and then uh, this is a huge one and this is a tough one also and i have uh, split this into two parts in the part one i have now created a complete structure and then set up the basic configuration and then afterwards i populated the model on the sales order and then i will now ship and then i will now show about how it fails on the building also so in part two what i'm going to do is i will now set up this org for manufacturing and then afterwards i will now set up my global order promising for pushing it from order management into manufacturing i will now complete the manufacturing and then afterwards what happens it will be shipped and then it will be uh, basically what happens to ar for billing it so it has got two parts so the part one begins now which is a very tough one and then the part two is also of course naturally it's tough but what happens is not tough like part one now so this is a, this record is of a part one now fine we'll now begin the part one on how to create a structure actually so here what happens is that uh, you just watch each and every step and then take notes now so that what happens you'll be able to remember thing otherwise it will be very difficult to remember actually so take notes at every stage and then uh, what happens write to me for any clarifications at nana.apps60@gmail.com i will definitely what happens sir clarify your doubts actually <clears throat> so let us now begin our activity of creating a structure actually so let me go on and share my screen now so here i made a big structure but in fact what happens you need not have to make so much of a big one now basically like what i have but, but what happens you make a simple structure and then try to experiment it but this i have made it mainly because to what happens to show the complete flexibility of this one now <clears throat> so go there and then let us now begin this activity so here i have made a, what happens a hybrid pdo model in the top so i have made a hybrid pdo model so this hybrid pdo model has got two models one is the ato desktop ATO model and then one is a PDO model. So normally it is customary to have only a PDO model in the top now, and then we normally do not have a ATO model in the top, but a PDO model. So a PDO model is there in the top, and then it will be having one ATO and then one PTO actually. <coughs> so the models. So in this ATO, I have made th four option classes. Fine. One is a desktop mandatory option class. One is the accessories mandatory option class, and then one is a camera optional class, and then one is what games optional class. So I made. four such optional classes and then we'll now discuss about this one by one now and then against the pto model what happens i have made one option class and then i made three items and then these are the items fine against the desktop mandatory option class we have got three three components actually fine this one has got four components because the exclusion test which i made is only for testing the configurator actually and that will be done on part 2 actually and then we have a camera has got three and then this is got three and then this also got us three So what I did is I initially created all the items. Actually, fine. I created the items. Fine. Like what about the desktop hybrid model? This is a PDO model. Then this is a ATO model. Then this is a PDO model. And then this is a mandatory. Fine. These are all three, four option classes. Now, fine. Five option classes now in this place. You can you see four under the ATO and then one under the PDO? And then afterwards the finished good items. Fine. It is now beginning with this. Now, fine. Go there. So it's a <coughs> uh, what about 8 GB RAM, 16 GB RAM warranty. So that is there in the first one now. Fine. So these things are now created. All these things are created actually. <laughs> so create all the items. In total, it came to around twenty-four now. And then in part two, I'll be getting the routing also. Routing I'll be getting in part two now. I am in part one now. So I have now created all the items. Now. Fine. So again and again, I'm asking you, please don't modify any of these things. Otherwise, what happens? My demonstration on configurator will be failing actually. So just watch and then what happens? See how I have done it. And then afterwards, you create your own sales order and then do it. Fine. Likewise, you do it. But please do not modify. So what I recommend is what you make a simple one, not like such a big one now. Fine. At least make a small, simple one, and then afterwards start to experiment on it. Fine. Uh, after understanding everything, fine. Understanding is very, very important now. All the concepts as well. And for easiness, what happens? I have now given the 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 model, this PDO model, as well as the six thousand one, six thousand two, and six thousand three are having a price of zero actually, and then. these optional classes are not having any prices at all i have not given any price for the optional class and then i have given the component pricing also <clears throat> so in the components what happens if you go and then see 6009 will be having a price of 9 10 will be having a price of 10 likewise what happens up to 24 all the components are having a price now fine starting from 6009 to this i have given a price of 9 10 11 12 13 14 up to 24 and remember if you don't give any price for the model it will now fail actually so we have to give a price of 0 actually And then in this place, and the model level, you have to give a price of zeros. So six thousand one, six thousand two, and then six thousand three are having a price of zero actually. And then afterwards, what about the optional classes? No need to give any pricing, whereas the components will be having the real pricing actually. 
So this is how I given now. Right? So six thousand nine will be having nine dollars. The uh, ten will be having ten dollars. Like this, what happens? I given the pricing. <clears throat> So the pricing has been given now. So now let us now show me, fine, I will not say, there are four such things which are there now, fine, in this one, the templates actually. What is the PTO model template? What is the PTO option template? And then what is the ATO model template? And then ATO, what happens, option class. Fine, PTO model and PTO option class, ATO model and then ATO option class. So we'll now first of all see about how the template I have made now. So the first activity, you're going to go and have a look at it. So we'll now go there, go to this place now. So let us now go on and have a look at the templates which I have made. <clears throat> I made the template now. So I will now go there, click on it now. So go to the setup and write We will now have a look at the template. Go there, click on it, click on search. <clears throat> it's a manage item class. So I go to the manage item class now. I'm working on 980 and 981 organization actually. And select it and then click on edit now. Go there. And then hey, go to the templates and formats. <coughs> templates and formats, I'm going over there now. So in this place, we can now search for the templates over there again. For the organization, fine. First of all, the ATO. Then I will now put my organization as 980. Go there. So enter it now. Fine. I'm going to query on the 81 and 980. You can now see that 81 and 80. So we've got this many things now. Fine, go there. <coughs> so here. I have not taken the ATO option class now. Fine, let me go on and have a look at the ATO option class now, first of all. So if you go on and look at the ATO option class, what happens, it will be having this information active and then production and then all this in there. And then afterwards, what happens, I have given the units of as each actually, fine, with each primary and ethics. And then if you go to the specifications directly, if you go to the specifications and have a look at it now. The specifications, what happens in the manufacturing area, this is the area where which is very important, item structure is very important. So here I made it as an option class now. I made it as an option class. And then it is an ATO option class now. It's an option class. And then here assemble to order is yes now. If the assemble to order is yes, it's a PTO option class, ATO option class. If this is going to be no, it is a PTO option class. And this decides whether it is an ATO option class or a PTO option class. So assemble to order is yes. And these are the two important things. One of the structure type is option class, and then the assemble to order is yes. This is a ATO option class actually. Is an ATO option class. The remaining are all okay, fine. The, the other ones, the VIP is not required because I'm not going to build this on option class, they'll not be building it actually. And go there. And then in the sales and order management, if you go there, you see it's not fine. So here I have now enabled the back to back enable. Fine. This is in part two, I'm going to do it now, fine. So this has been enabled for back to back necessary, fine. So I will be pushing it into manufacturing through a back to back make actually, fine. I have enabled the manufacturing. And then I have now given everything as in the customer order enabled is there. And then shippable is not, it's not possible to ship us, but whereas we can very well invoice it. And then if you go to the planning, and then have a look at it, the planning. <clears throat> so go there, and then here it's a make item fine. Whether well, it's the ATO is basically make, and then afterwards, what happens? We have to collect the item for correction. What happens? We have to have the MRP planning. As such, only what happens? The MRP planning has only come fine. They are now gradually bringing in each and everything now fine. So uh, I don't know whether now it has come, other ones are come or not. I'm not sure about it, but I normally make the MRP. MRP planning will definitely get a collection. The collection will definitely come up and then what happens? You'll be able to see on the sales order. Actually. Otherwise, what happens? Uh, the item will not be available in the sales order. Right? So, little basic ones I have given now. So, on the manufacturing is a very important one. And then here, what happens? The option class and then assembly order is yes, no. And then in the sales order, what happens? I have now enabled the back to back. And then what happens? It's a make now. I go to the planning and then I have made the make now. Back to back, I have the make now. And then I have given the MRP plan. So, this is the ADO option class. So uh, we'll now go to the ADO model. I have made one ADO model as a manufactured one. Fine, go there. Click on it. No, fine. ADO model manufactured. So it's a model one. Fine, go to the model. So here everything has been given over here now. And then I have given what happens if you go and then see on the overview area. <coughs> have a look at it. Here, what happens? The, uh, each is the everything. You go to the specifications and again click on the manufacturing area. Fine, go there. So in the manufacturing now. <coughs> so in the manufacturing, what happens? It was instead of option class, is a model now. There is the only change. There is the only change to the model and then. Assembled the orders, yes, now so it's the ATO model now. Fine, right, the model. And then afterwards, if you go to the sales orders, what happens? I have given the back to back enabled now. Fine. I will be setting it up later on now. On part two, I'll be setting it up now. And then you go to the planning now. In the planning, what happens? If you go there, it's a make item. And then here, what happens? MRP, MRP plan. So these are the ATO models and option classes. Now, for this org, remember, fine. So they're all org specific templates. And so what happens when you call it your ATO option class as well as ATO model manufacturer will be coming as well. Let me go there and then show the PTO now. PTO, PTO of my organization. I am not doing or applying everything on the master only. 
So you know, go on and have a look at the P option class, no, an option class, and I have now put some life cycle over there, no, and you're like, okay. The PDU option class is the one user type. User type is only for information purposes. It does not have any functionality as such. You know. So it will not tell you about what type of an item it is. <clears throat> Over there. In the overview, what happens? I have given this one. And then I have given uh, what everything as a each. You know. But uh, what happens on the finished goods? Somebody has uh, made a change of the primary units of measures to kilogram now. I know, not, not noticed it. <laughs> somebody has made a change now. So when I applied it, what happens? All the finished goods are now having a kilogram. When I was configuring it, what happens? I set up everything manually. Whereas finished goods, I understood that what happens, uh, it will be having only each now, but uh, somebody has changed it to kilogram and then so what happens, it's all kilogram. It doesn't matter, fine. It's only uh, information, of, uh, it's only for our, and uh, it will now do the shipping and other things, everything on different units of measurements. And I go to the specifications and then on the manufacturing. That's why what happens, I say that please do not modify any of my setups, actually. If you modify the setups, what happens, I'll be in a problem and then I will not be able to demonstrate it properly at all. So it's a PTO option class now, fine, go there. In the manufacturing, it is an option class, and then if the assembled order is no, it's the PTO option class. Had it been yes, it's the ATO option class. Right? So it's all, these are the two important setups as far as the option class is concerned now. And then afterwards, I go to the sales and order management. And again, what happens, on a PTO, I have not enabled the back-to-back, -back because what happens, it's a pick and ship actually. Fine. So back to back is not enabled. I have enabled the back to back only for the ATO items because what happens? I have to what happens? Uh, uh, interface it to manufacturing actually in in uh, part two. So there what happens in a PTO? It is only just a pick and ship, and so what happens? Uh, it is not enabled. Also. The back to back is not enabled on the sales order. In the planning, what happens? You go there is a PTO, and so what happens? I left it blank actually. Fine. No need to give any make or buy. Fine. Uh, you can even buy also. You can give. Fine. Uh, if it is not a make, you can even give a buy. But what happens, I can even load the blank as well. I go there and then I have not given this as a market planning for collection. So this is on the, uh, what's called your PTO option class. Please take a note of how I have set up and then what happens, you set up your class for your own organization now. So that when you create everything for your own org, then only what happens, you, you, you have understood everything and then you have practiced everything. Fine. And do not, uh, what happens, uh, straight away start to work on mine. Now. Fine. Please create your own templates for your own org. And then having a look at it and then do it now. Fine, go there. In the PTO model, fine, if you go and see the PTO model, fine, go there. it's a model and then what happens, assembled orders, no. So what happens, it's a PTO model actually. Had it been, yes, it's a ATO model. So these are the only two setups that are required for making it as a PTO model now. And then afterwards, you go to sales and order management and not enabling the back-to-back. -back, it's, not, it's not a back-to-back here. -back and then in the planning, what happens, I'm not leaving it as a blank actually. Fine, go there. And then I'm not giving this now. So on an option class and model, what happens? The only thing is this is the thing which differs is what if you go to the manufacturing area. So this varies actually. Is a model or option class? So the item structure is the one. So this way, what happens? I have created these four templates for me to use as such. <clears throat> so this is the template part now. So create your own template for your own org now. Right? So when you give a plus and then try to create it for the copy my and then what happens? You select it. And then click on plus and then uh, copy mine into your org and then do it. So that what happens uh, those templates will be coming up whenever you're creating an item. I click on cancel. <clears throat> so this is on the template part. Find the big one and then what happens? I try to take notes of each other. Right. So we have got video model and then a video option class and then radio model and radio option class. And then these are all the finished goods actually. Find the, the finished goods. <clears throat> so I simply applied the template and then I done it. Fine. I will now go on and show you one of the templates. Right. 6009, I will now show it to you. Fine. Go there. In this place let me show you this <clears throat> so click on done now i will now show you the item <clears throat> you go to the home icon and then you go to the product management and then go to the product information management and then have a look at the item 6009 will know how to it. so click on it now click on it so you go to the browse items and then query for the 6009 now so item is 6009 and then you tap and then click on search now <clears throat> so you can search for it now. So once when you search for it, what happens? You go there, and then let me click on the what happens? The master org itself, and doesn't matter. Go click on it now. The master is a child actually. It's assigned to the child also. So if you go there and see, it is on 980 is a master now. Go there. So here, what happens? The people have made as a kilogram. I forgot about that. Let to watch it now. Fine. The all the finished goods are now having kilogram and not each. It doesn't matter. You go to the specifications now. It's a finished good now. And go there in the manufacturing area. What happens? The standard item. So what is the standard item? And then in the sales and order management, if you go there in the sales, no fine, go there. So the back to back was no for this, no fine, go there. So orders and then customer order, customer order enabled. The normal attributes of all these things. So it is a shippable basically. Fine, we can very well ship it and then it is invoiceable also. And then if you go to the planning, <coughs> what happens? You go there. 
and then here if you go to the planning what happens i make or buy i'm going to make this item what happens i now made this is a make actually final words make is the one if i make now and then afterwards <coughs> what happens i go there and then in the bottom what happens i made is a multiple so i'm going to manufacture this product and so what happens this item of a, what happens the desktop 8 gb ram is going to be manufactured this is a similar fashion what happens all the items have been done now i go that's what it's a make you can make and make it make it so we will now go on and have a look at what happens over uh, what's called your one of the models now ado desktop 6002 will now have a look at it so go there click on it and then you go to the browse items and then query the 6002 now 6002 and then click on search so here what happens i'll now go on and open up this one <coughs> And then you can now see this now. You go to the, uh, this is the each now. You go to the, what are the specifications now? <clears throat> so this is a model I have made as each. I go to the model. And then uh, whatever templates values have been added, everything will be done accordingly. And then you go to the, the what's called sales and order management. Uh, I know enable the back to back to back to back, -to -back is enabled for this now. And then the customer order. So, go there. so shippable is no get. Right? It is not shippable. It is not possible to ship. And the models and option classes cannot be shipped. Whereas the invoicing is very much possible. We go to the planning. So in the planning, what happens? I can go there and then see this in the make, and then here what happens? Go there and then see this in the market. <coughs> so similarly, what happens? I have done all the items actually. Now, I will not teach you about how to create this bill actually. Like this bill, I'm going to create. I'm going to have this 6004, and then I'm going to attach these three components. So what I will do is I will now create a separate option class now, new option class I will now create, and then I will now attach the existing ones for this. Will now go then create this bill actually. This bill I'm going to create. And I will now say 5004 instead of 6004. What happens? I will not create what happens? A, a 5004 item actually. Go there. I'm going to apply what an option class template. So let us now go and then create an item now. You want us? They click on close now. <clears throat> and then we'll create it. So this is for uh, understanding purposes. I'm doing now. I'm going to click on create it. So 5004 is the one which I'm going to make it now. Organization is 980. You can use your own organizations again. Try to avoid mine because what happens if you mess up mine? I will not be able to demonstrate the balance on the part two. Actually, fine, please don't modify anything of mine. You create it is okay, but what happens? Is please don't modify anything of whatever I have set up. Actually, now this is going to be an option class. Now. Fine, this is going to be an option class. So I will not be using the finished book template. I will not click on it and I will not bring it over here. And then here, on opposite, it is an ATO option class. It is an ATO option class. Fine, go there. So you go to the top and then choose the ATO option class. And then bring it to the answer. It has already been set by me. And so what happens that those uh, what happens those attributes will be automatically populated. You know, you know, you know. So here I will now for understanding purposes, what happens? I'll now create a 5004 now. Fine, instead of 6004, what happens? I'll now make a 5004 now. 5004 underscore mand fine OPT underscore what happens that class. And now making it now the mandatory option class now, fine. Take corporate now. And then for the description. <clears throat> so since all the template values are already populated, what happens? You can also see, you go to the specifications and have a look at it now. Look at the specifications. And then if you go to the manufacturing, it will be the manufacturing. You can also see it's option class of what happens ATO take now. It's the ATO option class. And then if you go to the sales and order management, what happens? I know enable the back to back. And then if you go to the planning, you can also see it's a make now. <clears throat> it's a make, and then here what happens is a market plan. So these are very important ones. It's already done. So after having applied the template, what happens is you simply save now. at this stage. What happens? You get a save. Now. I'm going to click on save. So now what happens? This is now created in the master. Fine. The option class is now created in the master. Now we have to add these three components now. Fine. Six thousand nine, six thousand ten, and six thousand eleven has to be added as a component to this bill now. Every bill will be having one parent and then multiple components. Every bill is a single level bill now. Fine. Every structure here they call it as a structure. Every structure is a single level structure. So here, what happens? You'll be having a parent as well as these components now. Fine, go there. They'll now go on the add. So after having given the save now, fine, go there. Click on save now. Go down. And then I go to the what's called structures now. Fine, I will now create a structure. Actually. Go to the structure. <coughs> In the structure area, what happens? You go there. Go to the actions and then go to create. Now I'm now going to create a structure for this. One. Click on create actions create. So here I will now make it as a primary, and then I will now say what happens? A dummy <coughs> ADO option class. No, only for making fine. Click on apply and then add data. So click on it. Click on apply and add data. So it goes to the next screen now. Here, what happens? We're going to add it now. Add these three components. So go to actions and then go to what? Select and add. And go to select and add. 
I'm going to circle it. So here, 6,009, 10, and 11. Fine. I will now put 60 and then query admin. Fine. 60. <coughs> and then whatever. Click on search now. 9, 10, and 11, I'm going to add. So when you search it, whatever, everything will be coming now. So here, I'm going to add 9, 10, and 11. So I will now select the 9 over here. Now, fine. with the control, I'm selecting 10 as well as I'm selecting here. Fine. These three are the components of this bill, actually. I click on apply and then click on OK. So now we have added these three components over here now for the what was the this option class. Now what the customer is going to do is he is going to choose one of the things as what the 8 GB RAM desktop or the 16 GB RAM desktop. So once when you select one of them, what happens? The one year warranty is now given to him free actually. That is known as an included item. So we have to make these two things as a competing options actually. These two things we have to make it as a competing options. Nine and ten are competing options actually. So we are going to set up as what the competing options for which what happens the OP. <coughs> what happens we have to make it as what we have to put a tick mark on the OP now. Right? There is an OP there. Right? There is a tick mark. This one is a different one. Right? This one is a different one, and then this is a different one now. I will now come to this part a bit later. Fine. It's a very a tough one. So try to what happens take notes at every stage. Otherwise, what happens? So there are three components are there for out of which what happens the two of them I'm now going to make it as a competing option so that what happens when the customer wants to choose it he will not choose a 8 GB RAM a desktop or a 16 GB desktop he will not have the option of choosing this at all because it comes as a free one and the price is free even though I have given a price of what 6011 will be having a price of eleven dollars what happens it will be coming as a free to him actually. so this price will be free for him is all included actually. So this one is a free one, and so uh, it will be done. So we'll now see about how to set up the options for this 8 GB and 16 GB. So select this one, and then here, if you go on the edit it, if you go on the click on edit, what happens? You won't find the OP and ME here. Fine, if you go there, the OP and ME is not available here at all. How many quantities you need? Can you know? Fine, items equals is coming. So the yield is the one which is coming. The yield is nothing but what happens? Let us say you are having a, a silver rod. Which you are going to do the machining and then do the threading actually. So once when you do the threading, what happens around one percent of the silver would have been lost actually because of the threading. When you do the threading on the lathe machine, what happens? So the yield will be not one; it will be 0.99 actually. So this is a factor which will be used by the planning engine actually. The planning engine, based upon the yield, what happens? It will not increase the requirement actually. So let us say I need 100 kilos, 100 kilos of silver rod, and then during the what happens the machining process? I'm going to lose one percent. One percent will now get machined and that will now go as a scrap actually because the threading is going to be made on the silver rod. So the planning engine will now what happens? They give an output based upon what uh, the requirement. Let us say you need uh, some x quantities. X divided by yield will be the what happens the actual requirement. So it will now increase the what's called uh, the requirement. So uh, anticipating the loss during the manufacturing process. There's a yield actually. So you know how many quantities you want, you can even set it up and you want us, you know, all these things are coming. So the planning percentage is 100%, so the entire thing is eligible for planning central actually. You know what else? And then the basis, right? this is I am uh, yet to experiment on it, fine. this comes under manufacturing, fine. once when I do it, I will do it. And this is what is, you can know it, fine. the primary units are made this kilogram now, fine. okay. Here what happens, the options and mutual exclusives is not coming, fine. I cancel now. So for which what happens, we have to show the field actually. So if you go to the view, and then here what happens, you go there, the component level order management has to be chosen, and component level, and not the real order management. There is an order management here, do not enable it, but the component level order management has to be enabled. Click on the component level order management. Now if you go on the edit, it, click on edit. Now the OP and ME will be coming. You can now see the options and then mutual exclusive. So if you put a tick mark on this now, remember this is a standard item, this is a standard item. When you put a tick mark, then it means what? It has now become a competing option section. And ME is not possible at all. ME cannot be, what happens? ME will be grayed out for both standard items as well as model items. Please take a note of it now, fine. I'm not going to speak a lot now, fine. Everything you have to take note. Of. ME, what exactly it means? I will not come to you a bit later now, fine. ME is not possible for standard items as well as ATO models. Only for option classes, ME is possible now. Mutual exclusive is possible only for option classes and not for standard items as well as models. It's not possible. And go there. Now I enabled option. Now it has become a competing option. Similarly, on the second line also, what happens? You go there and then you click on it. Okay, go there, click on it and then click on edit now. So I will now make it as a competing options. Yeah, competing options means what? Uh, is 8 GB RAM. I've done it and then I have to go for the 16 GB RAM. 
Okay. So keep your cursor on the 60 GB RAM. Keep your cursor on the 60 GB RAM and click on edit now. <coughs> and then I'm going to make it open and go there. I'm not making it an option. ME is not possible for a standard as well as model items. So these two have become the competing options for the customer to choose actually. If I, either he can choose a desktop of 80 GB RAM or a 8 GB RAM. And if you go further, since we are enabling the visibility, you can all see this. So here, what happens? ME is always no, no. If I, optional, the first two have been enabled. If I, you're not showing us yes, actually. So having set up the optional, you know, if I, this is called what happens? The optional only on the items on the item level. If, I, if you don't put a tick mark, it becomes an included item. It is a free item actually. If you don't put a tick mark on this one, if optional is not enabled, what happens? It becomes a free item actually. So click on done by which what happens the bill is now created with the appropriate order management setups. So now what happens you go and then associate to the child or we have to assign to the child or not. So the parent as well as the component. The parent and the component. Only on the component level, we have set up the option class. Remember, this is basically for the parent action. This is for the parent action. This is for the parent action and not for the option class actually. Go there. And then I will now go to the associations and then let me associate with the child. Click on the associations. <laughs> Click on the associations. And then here, what about you go there? Go to the actions and then go to self and And then let me select the child org. Child org is 981 now. And click on enter now. So we are now selecting the child org. <clears throat> so we are selecting the child org. Click on apply. And then click on done now. <clears throat> so it is now done now. Fine, go there. So 980, what happened? Oh, I have not selected it properly or not. I want to select So I have to select 980. I have not selected and then click on apply and then click on done. I have to select it and then I know that the selection actually. So go there, it is not done. And remember here when you assign it, the item is only assigned and then the bill is not assigned at all. So we have created the bill on 980 with the, all the option classes, whereas 981, nothing is done now. And go there. So click on seven close. Now we have to create the bill in the child actually. We have to go on the building check. And remember, it is customary that what happens, uh, what you do is here in this place, if you go there, <clears throat> uh, uh, in this place, if you go there, it is customary to create all the bills which has got a parent and component in the what happens uh, in the design and drawing department. So there will be a centralized design and drawing department which will be responsible for what happens, uh, creating all the bills. And then afterwards, what happens? It will be common to all the childs. Let's say 980 is a master, and then we have got 10 childs, and then you will know common it to all. So once when you comment it, what happens? We cannot edit this at all. We cannot do the editing at all right? at, the, at the child level. So any changes which are taking place in the master or in the common common one, what happens? It will be reflecting on all the child actually. So again, normally what happens? The item master organization will be the design and drawing department, and then there, what happens? You will now be creating all the bills now, and then afterwards you will now comment it all the child. So now in 981, I am going to comment this bill now. Right? Go there. So go there. it's a very tough one. Try to understand it very clearly. Fine, go there. Click on it. I will now query this one. Fine, go there. Click on it. And let me query the item. Go there. You go to the browse items. It is 5004 now. Fine, let me query. <coughs> so click on browse items. I will now query for the 5004. Click on enter now. Fine, it will now show both the master and child now. So in this is the second one is a child now. If I go further, you can now see it's now child 981 now. So what I do is you go there and then click on this item. I am now going to click the bill now. I click on it. At the moment. Remember, there will not be any bill at all for this. One. So go there. If you go to the structures, there will not be anything at all. Now we are going to do the commoning from the master now. I'm going to click on structure. And then go to actions and then what happens? They create a common, create from common. So from this place, what happens? We are going to create from common. So it is a customary practice. What happens? You can even copy also. When you make a copy, what happens? We can even modify the both the master and child. That is not the correct practice basically. Because the centralized department will now lose the control actually. So you will always create from common. <coughs> So click on create common, and then I will now choose the org as the master org now. From where, what am I going to do now? Organization name, we drop it down. I will now choose this as the master org, the master org. And then item is what? 5004, now fine. 5004, and then give a tap, it will be coming automatically. It comes automatically over now, and click on OK, by which what happens? The commoning is now taking place now. So click on OK. So the concurrent will be running now, fine. No, the process is not running. So this is the way you have to get a bill. So I will again repeat now. In the master, what happens? You create the option class and then save. And then you go to the structures and then create the components. And then make the first two components as optional through what happens? Enable, what happens? Visualize what happens? The component level order management. Then only what happens? You can see the OP and ME there. So enable only the OP. ME cannot enable it now. Then save it. 
after saving it what happens you assign this to child organs upon assigning it what happens only the option class gets assigned and not the bill gets assigned actually only the option class gets assigned and then not the bill assigned then again query the item on the child org and then create a common find go to what happens create from common and then do it and then you submit it what happens a concurrent will come so once when this process is completed what happens you cancel now i will not give a save and close i give a save and close now because i have not finally done the thing let me give a save and close now now if you go there and then have a look at it now i click on this now you will not find the bill over there I click on save and close now if you go there and then here you go to the structures you will not see the bill previously bill was not there right this yet to come now find the concurrent is still running so because of which it is not coming now and then what happens if you go to the master area if you go and then have a look at the master area and go to the master one you can edit the bill actually because then the place where it is located you can go to the structures now and you can very well edit it now when click on the primary now I click on the primary and then here you click on the primary and then you can so you select it and then what happens the edit icon will be visible for you <clears throat> the edit icon is visible whereas in the child or the edit will not be visible at all you cannot edit it now so click on cancel now the edit icon is visible in the what happens the cancel now so you cannot edit this because it is no common nature so whenever a change happens it will now getting reflected on every child actually on every child it will be automatically reflecting it actually so let us now go there and then by this time it will have been completed i think then go cancel now let us open up the 981 now <clears throat> go there click on the 981 now so 981 i am clicking on it and go there and then now have a look at now and go there go to the structures now go to the structures now it is now come now fine you click on the primary now fine click on the primary <clears throat> so once when you click on the primary if you select it and then here what happens the edit icon will not be created so the child we cannot modify any of the components or any of the options or whatever it is now fine nothing can be modified it can only be used in the child actually you can only use in the child so this is on the bill creation so likewise what i did this i have no created this is the 6004 bill which is having this as a parent and this as a component this one second bill this is the third bill the third fourth bill you can go on and have a look at it now fine and then I'll put the number and have a look at it again please please don't modify i am again and again telling you please be modified i will be doing it in the second bill what happens i have now added one more uh, item at the fourth uh, as a one more item as for the exclusion test during uh, my configuration my configurator exercise what about the lb so using it actually for exclusion test actually so the remaining are all having only three three components and then this will be having four components so that is for the configurator test actually and again please don't modify it again and again i'm telling you if you modify it i will be in a mess i had again correct it and then take a long time actually and then i am already busy and so what happens it will now take another one or two days for me to do the part two actually and part one i am not completely like this and go that process so this is one bill this is second bill this is the third bill this is the fourth bill this is the fifth bill now. and similarly what happens the sixth bill this is the sixth bill the eto desktop what happens it has got all the four components so now go and then query the sixth bill match thank you this is sixth bill so we'll go and query the sixth bill okay we cancel now 6002 is a bill and we'll go and have it now so 6002 is a one we'll go there enter now and we're going to see sixth bill so you go there and then see this one <clears throat> so it's not 5002 it's 6002 so go there and then enter the 6002 now I have now opened up the master because I cannot modify the master. Click on it now. The master. So this bill has got four components now actually. Fine, six thousand four, five, and six and seven. Now these are four components. So you go to the structures now straight away, and then click on the primary now. And then it has got four, five, six, seven. If you go and then see this now, fine, go there. I will know what happens. The first of all, a view. Click on the view, and then you go to the what is called your. I don't know why they are not selecting it automatically. I don't know how to do it now. Fine, if anybody knows it, please tell me. The component order management has to be automatically selected now, like this now. Fine, how to make it? Please tell me. If you go there, here what happens? This one I am going to set up the OP and ME now. Only for an option class we can set both the OP and ME. Whereas for standard items, as far as for models, we can only set OP now. Fine, remember. So the standard items and models we can set up only OP. Whereas for this one we can set up what happens? Both the OP and ME. So here OP is no fine. If you go on and see this now, fine. Go select it and then click on it. It now you can now see OP is no. OP is no means what? It is not enabled. OP is not enabled. Whereas M is on. Mutually exclusive is on means what? We can have only a maximum of one selection. Fine. Only one selection. And then here at the option class level, this is the option class now. Fine. For the option class level, if you set OP as no, that means what? It becomes a mandatory option class. so the customer has to choose one component at least fine he has to choose at least one component then only what happens the configuration becomes successful actually 
So at least one component here. So, so optional is off means what? It is a mandatory option class. And then mutually exclusive is on means what? He can only choose a maximum of one only. He cannot choose more than one. He can choose what happens a zero or one, but maximum is one. So you see that both the combinations basically, the optional and mutual exclusive. If you see both the combinations, right here, what happens? Is OP is no, and then ME is yes means what? It becomes a mandatory option class, and then the maximum is the only one. So this is called one and only one. It's called one and only one. So he can choose only one, and then he has to choose a minimum of one, and then maximum of one only. So when OP is no, and then ME is yes, what happens is a one and only combination. And then this is applicable for the below level actually. So below level is only applicable and not the same level actually. Fine. In this place, what happens, whatever you write, the OP and ME, it is applicable for the below level. Whereas on the standard components, when you put an option, it is applicable on the same level itself. Fine. On the standard components, what happens, if you see this now, fine, it is on the same level. No? Fine with that. So uh, standard uh, 6009 and 6010, we have enabled it uh, when, when you are creating this bill now. When you are creating this bill, what happens, uh, we are now enabled this now, fine. This is applicable for this now. But when you are creating this bill, now, fine, ATO bill, for this one, when you're setting the OP and ME, it is applicable for the below levels. And remember, again, I'm telling you. So when you're creating this mandatory option class bill, for which what happens, you know, added these three components in which what happens, if you made as an optional, fine, it is applicable for the same level itself. What happens is they become competing components actually. Whereas when you're creating the ATO model on the top level, and then here you're setting up the OP as no and then ME as yes, it is applicable for the below levels actually. It is not the, at this level actually, it is, it is applicable for the below levels. So that means what? In this bill, you got three components now. We are setting up this only here now, on the higher bill now. On the 6002 bill, on the component of a 6004, 6002 has got a component of 4, 5, 6, 7. On the 4, we are setting up this. Right? Optional is no, and then mutual exclusive is yes. what happens. It means what? We can only choose 8 GB desktop or a 16 GB desktop. What happens? You cannot choose both basically. You can only go over it. And whenever you choose one of them, what happens? The one year warranty is free. So give a cancel now and close it now. I will not go on and see the 6005 now. Find how the 6005 has been used. So OP is no, and then ME is also no. OP is no means what? It becomes a mandatory option class. Find the second one, 6005. If you go on and edit, click on edit. What happens? You cannot see <coughs> the editing will be coming up. Here, OP is no, and then ME is also no. That means what? He can choose one or any number because ME is not on. When ME is on, the maximum is restricted to one actually. No, ME is off means what? You can choose the two-year warranty as well as the UPS as well as the exclusion test. Fine, you can even choose all the three also. Or otherwise, what happens? You have to choose at least one. Since OP is no, at least one has to choose. So this is known as one or any actually. And then the broadband will be given to him free of cost. The broadband will be given. So this broadband will not be coming for him to choose actually. And then I have made these three components as optional long fine. So they become the competing options actually. And these three things are competing options. Fine. So what happens out of three, you have to choose one actually. So please take notes of all these things. The third one, what happens? OP is yes and then ME is yes. When OP is yes, it is optional. He may go for a camera. He may not also go for a camera. But what happens since ME is yes, what happens? He can now choose only a maximum of only one camera. There are only two competing options. What happens? He cannot go beyond one at all. So you can choose either a 720p camera or a 1080p camera, not both, because ME is on. When, when you choose one of them, what happens, the external mic will be free for you. In this case, what happens, OP is yes and then ME is no. That means what? This again, the games is totally an optional. Both the things, the camera as well as the games are totally optional. And then here, if he chooses it, what happens, since ME is no, he can even choose both also. The graphics card as well as the joysticks. Fine. Both of them you can choose now. When you choose it, what happens, the mouse pad is given to you. So these are the four combinations of OP and ME. Fine. No, yes, no, no. Yes, 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 no. Fine. So for which what happens? I have designed. You need not have to go for such a big design. Fine. When you are when you are experimenting it, what happens? I make a simple one and then I try to experiment it whether it is no working properly or not. That is that is very important. Fine. Make a simple one and not like such a hybrid model below which what happens? Video and video a club is there and then below is all these things are not. Similarly, what happens? The video model is there. Fine. Go there. So here what happens? It's what's called I have no made this a zero or any. And then all these things are there. So he can now choose one of them. In a PTO model, what happens once when the sales order is booked, it will be interfaced to shipping, and then you have to ship it directly. <coughs> so we had to only ship it. And then what happens? The free item, remember, in all the things, it will not be built at all. The free items will not be going to the air at all. And all the included items will not be going to the air. Only whatever is choosing, what happens? It will be going. 
And then for the pricing front, what happens? I have now given what happens? Six thousand one, and then six thousand two, and then the, these three models are having a zero price. And then all the option classes are not having any price at all. Fine, no need to have it. But models must have a price. Models must have a price. So give it as a zero price. And then all the finished goods will be having a real price. So I have given, for example, for example, the ninth one is having a nine dollar. Ten is having a ten dollar. Like that, what happens? So we had to give the pricing for all the finished goods. So those are the physical components for which we had to give a price, and then the ADO model we have is zero price. <coughs> this is how it has been. So this is on the what happens the construction of the structure actually. And remember what happens in the top one is the top one, and then you cannot set up the OP and ME at all for this because it is the top one. So only the below components can be set. Here what happens here? You put the ADO model. What happens here? Uh, you cannot see ME cannot be set at all. ME cannot be set for both the uh, what happens uh, the models as well as standard items. ME is not possible. I will not show you the six thousand two now. And, uh, so here itself we have the six thousand two now. So for seeing the six thousand two, what happens? You have to go to the higher level. So this is okay. I am going to close it now. So I have to choose uh, to see the six thousand two setup now. Fine. I have to go to the six thousand one and then query. Then only can see the six thousand two. So let me go to the six thousand one now. And, uh, it's a very tough one. And then try to understand it very clearly. And then any doubts, write to me now. Six thousand one. I am going to query. Now. I'll cancel. So let me go to the six thousand one now. So on six thousand one, uh, what happens? We're going to have a look at it now. I'm going to keep on it now. So uh, uh, what happens? We cancel. So let me go to the six thousand one now. So six thousand one, I'm going to go. So six thousand one, I'm going to make a search now. Find click on search now. So I'm going to search for it. Go there. <coughs> have a look at it. So six thousand one will be having the ADO model and PDO model. So on the models, what happens? We cannot set up the ME at all, and then the standard components and models. Go there. <coughs> click on it now. Go there. Go to the structures now. We click on the primary. So here, six thousand one is having six thousand two and three now. Fine. If you go there, and then first of all, view this. What happens? Uh, the component level. Uh, in the component level order management now. Where is it? Component details. Component middle management. What is this? Uh, yeah, component is component metric control. Or we got structure for it. Go there. So let me give a cancel and again come out. Six or something desktop model is coming. I go to the component level order management has to be enabled now. Coming as answer. Oh, they click on open it up again. One second. Yeah, it's now coming now. Fine. Component level order management. I'm enabling now. So if you go there and then see this now, fine. Click on it and then click on edit now. So select it and then the six thousand two. I'm editing it now. And remember, I'm in the master, so I'm able to edit it now. Click on it now. Optional is on. Mutually exclusive. We cannot put a tick mark at all. ME is disabled for both models as well as standard items, and it will always be customarily on. When you make it on, what happens? OP is yes means what? You have to choose. You can choose anything basically. Fine. Nothing is mandatory as such. Fine. So normally, what happens on a model? What happens? OP is always yes. Fine. OP can even make it as no. Also, no means what? It becomes a mandatory. Or one of the things you have to choose it now. And out of the four the option class, you have to choose one of them basically. And that is what is called OP. No, but normally, what happens when you make a model? You will now make everything as option, even though it's a mandatory option class and all. Right? So the components below the top model, what happens? It will always be yes, no. And here also, what happens? OP is yes, no. And video model. So on a model level, when you configure it, what happens? You make OP as yes, no, and ME is not possible at all. And like this, what happens? With the so here for this one, what about the query on the six thousand one now? Six thousand one will now show you six thousand two as what OPS yes and ME as no, and then six thousand three as what OPS yes and ME as no. So how it has been? So go through this completely and then how have a look at it now. And please don't modify anything again and again. Telling you, fine, don't modify anything. Have a look at it and then what about how it's all set actually? So the the routing I will not do it on the, what is called on the second part two now. Fine, when I am doing the part two, I will do it. So this is on the structure creation actually. Now afterwards, what happens? You go there. So before you start, what happens? You give a cancel. Now. We have to set up the order management parameters also. Click on cancel. Now. So let us not set up the order management parameters. So we are going to set up the order management parameters. Now. 
can either cancel. <clears throat> Click on it and then you go to the setup and maintenance now. So for the configurator part, what happens? We had to enable it now. Even though it is going to be used only in the part two now, but now itself we can enable it and keep it ready now. So go there, click on it, and then click on search. Let's manage what happens order percentage. So go to the manager order management parameters. So whatever is there in the configurator is being done. And okay. Uh, notify refill and then allow configurator effective date and go there and then what happens so for all business units the current date the effective date has been set now the configuration effective date and, go there. and then you go there. there's one more setup on this now and go there. Click on it. uh create check check number of processes set down type the enabled orchestration process number of retries ah there is one more setup also allow changes through the yeah. Allow changes through configurator validation. Allow changes through configurator validation. So if you make it as yes, I don't know what will happen now. Fine, allow changes through configura configurator validation process now. I will not make it as yes, no fine. So once when you do it, what happens? When you do what happens? Uh, you will be able to, when I look at the configurator at the time, what happens? It will not allow you to make a change. So this is the one. So these are two setups you have to make now. Fine, click on save and close now. On the auto management parameter. And then afterwards, you go to the manage item class. No point. There is a second setup. No point. Manage item class. The second setup you get to make for the configuration. So go there. Go to the manage item class. <coughs> and then select this line and then click on edit now. This is the second setup you get to make. So on the root item class, what happens if we go to the item management? Here, what happens? We have to have the configurator now. It should not be none. If it is none, configurator will not work at all. It has to be sequence. And then I give the starting sequence. And the prefix I have not given. Increment by one. Okay, man. Suffix. All this thing we can even give all this thing and make a setup. But this is okay. But to begin with, what happens? You use this now, fine. So use this setup for this one. Okay. Configurator item number generation. So this is what is fine. It is not done, actually. So configurator not, is not done. So this is the two setups, actually. And then click on cancel now. Let us now go to the sales order because now we not done the configurator as such now. Fine. So we will now test it on the sales order itself. Fine. We are now created only a structure now. The structure is going to be tested now. We are going to test this complete structure on this now. Fine. 6001, 2, 3, etc. Everything is coming. So we will not test this structure over there on the sales order. Click on it now. So I will now go to what you go to this place and then let me create a sales order. So click on order management. And then uh, now create a sales order now. So click on create order and now creating an order now. So let me put my custom over here now. And one more thing which I forgot is that what the maximum quantity has been made as two actually. Fine, I have not shown you to there. So the minimum is one and then maximum is two. So beyond two, you cannot go. That you can modify as much. Well. And in the in the what happens and you go on and see on the structures, what happens? There is a setup now. Fine, go on and have a look at it now. I forgot to show it to you. For that. I'll not put the custom over here. So let me put my model over here. Right. My model is what? 6001 is my model now. Right. The 6001 is the model. So go there and then I'll know. 6001 and then give it tag. So I'm not selecting it there. So you can now see the price is zero now. Right. The sale price is zero because what happens? I now made the price of this hybrid model and then the ADO model and then PDO model as zero, zero, zero. And then no prices for the option classes and then all the finished goods items are having a price actually. And everything is not having a price, but option classes do not have any price. But models need a price actually. Fine, they act as a top one, top entity, and so what happens? You give a price of zero actually. Fine, all the models, whatever models you are, you are putting it on the system, what happens? So here, the price is zero. So click on configure and add. I am going to configure and then add. So click on configure and add. So here I am saying what happens? You select and I now select three components. Now fine, maximum is only two. Now fine, in the case we give it three. What happens? It will not accept. You know, say cheapo. I will not do it. And the quantity also can be one or, or greater than two, uh, you entered three now. Cannot be less than one, it should not be less than one, or it should not be greater than two. Fine. You entered three, and they're not, they're not accepting it. So I will not go for one quantity now. Now, if you go and then click on edit now, fine, click on edit now. <clears throat> so click on edit, it will not show you everything. If I click on edit, the edit or desktop model, you cannot see this one. 
So the first one is a mandatory option class. We go on and have a look at it now. Fine. It's got the 8 GB RAM and then the 16 GB RAM. Fine, go there. The included item is not coming here at all. Fine, the one year warranty will not come at all because the customer need not have to choose at all. If you choose one of them, that will be automatically included. Right? And, it won't come in. and similarly, next is the accessories, mandatory option class. We've got a two year warranty as well as UPS and then the exclusion test. Fine, these three items are coming up now. Fine, go there. The fourth one is not coming. And then next one is the camera option class. Fine. So here, what happens if you see this now? Fine, go there. Whenever it is a mandatory one, if you can just choose only if M E is yes. If M E is yes, it will not come as a radio button actually. So you can choose either this or this. Fine, it will not come as a radio button because M E is one. Now. M E is yes. If M E is yes, we can choose only one of them basically. Fine, you cannot choose only one of them. And if you want to, whatever the override the values, you can even give all. And it will also give you the price now, fine. So 8 GB the storm is now having at the price, and then 16 GB is at this price now, and the price is also coming. So if ME is yes, it will not come as a radio button. Otherwise, what happens? It will not come as a checkbox. The next one is what ME is no now. So you can even choose the two year warranty as well as the UPS also. So you can choose all the three also if you want. Fine. Go there, select, select, and select. Because ME is no actually. Fine. So ME is no now. Fine. But it is a mandatory one now. Fine. You have to choose at least one actually. One of them you have to choose now. Fine. This is known as what? One or any actual. Because OP is no. If OP is not enabled on this one, what happens? It becomes a mandatory option class. So what else? So you can even choose all the options. And again, the next one, camera option class, what happens? You can also see is yes actually. So once when ME is yes, what happens? It comes as a radio button now. Fine. Either this, the 720p or 1080 p you can choose now. Fine. Everything cannot choose. And similarly, what happens in the games option class? What happens? You can also see is a, a checkbox now. Fine, you can even choose both. Right? The graphics card as well as the last. So you can now choose this now. So let me give a cancel now. Fine, go there and give a cancel now. <clears throat> so here, what happens? I am not doing anything. If you click on edit now, fine, you can now see that what happens? It is now in the none actually. This is a mandatory option class. One and only one you can choose now. Fine, this is a mandatory one. And then if you are not choosing it, it automatically chooses the 8 GB RAM. And then here also, what happens if you are not choosing anything, it will not choose the first element as a mandatory one because it's a mandatory one. And so, what happens if we have to have M is yes means what? At least one component is a must actually. What is what, another no, sorry, optional is no. If optional is no, what happens? At least one component is required. So the system will now choose the 8 GB RAM as well as what happens, the 720p camera. I'll not show you. Fine. The remaining nothing is chosen now. Fine. So they're all optionals basically. And then wherever what happens, we have to choose. This is a mandatory option class. This is also a mandatory option class. It will now choose the 8 GB RAM as well as the two-year warranty card. Fine. You can also see this thing will be chosen if you don't do anything at all in this place. I get a cancel now. If you're not doing anything at all, what happens if you click on finish and review? If you click on finish and review, you can now see that the system has now chosen. Fine. This is a hybrid 6001 is a hybrid model. And then this is the water, it is called again ADO model, both of the is zero. And then below which what happens, it has now chosen the 8 GB RAM automatically. <clears throat> Even though we are not choosing anything. What happens? The system has chosen the 8 GB RAM. And then here also, what happens? This is a mandatory class. What happens? You can now see the two year warranty is not chosen automatically with the appropriate price. So the total price you have to pay is what? 12 plus 9 is 21. The remaining are all zero prices. Basically. And then the option classes will not have any price at all. So click on OK now. You can now see the total price is now coming to be as 21 now. So click on OK now. You can now see the total price is not 21. <coughs> So this is how the configurator works actually. Finally, the total price is not only what you choose or not. If you click on the more also, what happens? It will not choose, show you what all the things which you have configured actually. Here, here again, nothing means what all the mandatory ones it will not pick up in the first item actually. Now let us now do the configuration of click on the now. Let us not do the configuration. I will not go for almost as well because once when it is configured, we cannot modify it actually. Anybody knows about how update lines is only for the attributes actually. Fine, not this. How to do this uh, reconfiguration? I don't know. Fine, if anybody knows about how to do it now, fine, go there. Go to this place. And then uh, if you want to reconfigure it, means what? How to do it now? Fine, go there. No, I now. Fine, I couldn't understand this. Now, fine, go cancel it now. Let us now make one more sales order. Click on this now. So click on create a sales order. At this time, what happens? I'm going to do it now. Fine, go there. 98 underscore. <clears throat> go there. And then I will now put the 6001. This time, what happens? I will now choose the values basically. On it. And I can now see the price is zero now fine, because the model is now having a price of zero. Fine. Click on configure and add now. So select it and then I'll now put it as one now. And then here I'm selecting it and then I'm putting it as one now. So click on edit now. And I'm going to configure it now. I click on edit. 
So here, what happens for easy understanding, what happens, I'm not choosing only the first first item now. I will not select the first item over here now. I will select the magnitude one. And then here also, what happens, I will not choose only one now. And two here, extended already. And then here also, I'm choosing the first one now. And then here also, what happens, I'm choosing the first one. So four components only, I'm not choosing it now. <coughs> On the game's optional class, only one. And then camera optional class, only one. I'm only one, one, the first one, I'm choosing it now. Nothing else I'm choosing it now. All right. So click on OK. And remember, this one, right? These are the four what happens option classes available. This fine, click on OK now right? on the ADO model. And then on the PDO model, what happens uh, allowable is one now. Fine, okay, that's okay. I'm only using only one now. Click on one to two is allowable. So here also, what happens on the PDO option class? I'm not choosing the cordless mouse. So once when the cordless mouse is chosen now, you cannot see the 16 GB pin tray will be given to him free now. Fine, that will be given to him free. Whereas these three items will be what happens or during manufacturing, they will be included. When you are manufacturing this product, what happens, they will be included. But since it is a PTO now, fine, since it is a PTO, what happens, this gets added in the sales order line instead of direct. The 16 GB pin drive will be coming directly. Whereas these things, these three items will not be coming. Only during manufacturing process, it will be including all the free items. Rather, what happens, they will be inbuilt into the system actually. Right. The broadband or the one-year warranty or external mic. What happens? They will not manufacture during manufacturing. They will not add all these items into the into the what happens? The manufactured product. Whereas this is go, going to go separately actually. Right. The cordless mouse and then the 16 GB pen drive. This is also come in the sales order. So I know given this now. And then click on OK now. Fine. What is? I know select the first item cordless mouse. I choose now. What is? And then click on finish now. So once when you finish it, you can now see now. Click on finish now. <coughs> It is now finished. <clears throat> so the configuration is now completed. The customer has configured this item. Go that. So click on the more over here. Now. Click on the more now. So once when you click on the more, what happens? You cannot see this. What happens? You cannot see all these things are coming up. So here, what happens? Against the 6008, what happens? You had to have the pen drive also. I go that. 6008, what happens? The cordless mouse he has chosen. And then the pen drive is also added at a price of zero actually. Fine. They're not having any price at all. The pen drive is also added. It's a free item, and so there is no price at all. Only for the cordless mouse, he has to pay this money. And then the models and option class will not have any price. No, I us. So he has chosen four components 22, 19, and then 12 and 16. Fine, go that. Us. It's not coming. All these things are coming. <clears throat> so uh, the cordless mouse, and then this is the what your desktop model is having a zero, no? and then the 19, and then this is having one on the two year warranty, and then the camera. The five items are there. Now four against the four uh, uh, option classes, and then one against the PDO option class. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the amount he is going to pay. So only for the PTO model, what happens? It will not add this. What happens? You are included. Whereas for the other ones, if you see the graphics card is added now. No included. Here, what happens? The accessories, no included. And the camera, no included. And then what happens? This one, no included. For the remaining models, remaining option classes, no included. Only for the PTO model, what happens? It will include because it is going to be shipped. Actually. The remaining will be integrated into your what happens? Your manufacturing. Actually. All the ATOs will be integrated in this manufacturing. So it's not coming. I click on done now. So it's all done now. Fine, go there. So click on save and then let us now submit this order. So click on save and then let us now submit the order. Oh, I cannot. Okay, I have to give the what happens? Warehouse is also fine. That. Click on it now. So once when you give a warehouse, what happens? It will be bypassing the GOP actually. Fine. The GOP is enabled for this now. But the GOP will be enabled. Fine, because I click on it. I'm not going to bypass the GOP. Now. I click on it now. I go to the supply. And then let me. What am I going to put this on? Fine, because 981 is the one. So once when you give a tap, it's not coming. Fine, 981. Child one is not coming. Fine, because. And then you go to the general now. I click on the general. And then let me have what happens the data. So I have enabled the back to back. But what happens since I'm giving the what happens your supply sub inventory, it will now bypass the GOP. It will now bypass the GOP. So click on save now. Fine, go there. So uh, I think there is some, I'm not very sure, somebody has asked this question, but it is not really bypassing the GOP. Actually. Fine. It is not really bypassing the GOP. Fine, go there. So I think Vijay has asked this question now. Fine. You can now see, but it is not going to bypass the GOP at all. Fine, go there. Click on save. So I've given this now. <clears throat> and then remember, GOP has to be set. I meant to set the GOP. GOP, I'll be doing it in the part two only. Fine, go there. Click on submit. The global order promising will be set only in the part two now. In the part one, I'm not going to set up. I click on 9102 is a sales order now. I'm submitting it. You know, see, but how it's going to behave now. So, as far as shipping is concerned, it will now bypass the GOP, but for billing is concerned, it will not do at all. That is what is happening. 
So I'm not uh, very sure about how all these things are there. And, uh, shipping, it will now bypass the GOP. Shipping is going to be bypassed because we are not given the arrows. What happens? It will not go as per the GOP. So you go to the actions and then here what happens? Switch to fulfillment view. So I'm now switching to fulfillment view. <clears throat> and then here what happens? You can now see this. So there is a model here now. So click on the model icon on this one. And click on the model icon on this one. And click on the model icon. So once when you click on it, what happens? It will not show you this now. So you have a desktop model now. And expand it. So expand it. What happens? It will not show you the option class. And then all these things are not started on the games option class. All this, so it has got four option classes of that AD option class. And if you expand it, it will not show you the selections of the I made this AGB app. Click on it. So here they made this graphics card. It will not show you all the options. This is Wallace. So it will not show everything. And then on the PTO model, if you go on and expand it, whatever they can now see, whatever the PTO option class, if you expand it, it will not show both the things now. Fine. He has now chosen the cardless mouse. And then this is a free item now. Fine, go there. So it will not show you this. So shippable is yes, yes for this. For the option class, shippable is no actually. Model also shippable is no. And then this is shippable actually. But here, what happens? It will not ship it. Fine. Remember, or rather, it will not be interface to shipping at all. Sorry, I'm sorry. It will not be interface to shipping at all. Only the PTO items, what the cordless mouse and then the pen drive are getting interface to shipping. Even though it says ship, but what happens? You have to first manufacture and then afterwards only it will be interface to shipping. So if you are not manufacturing it, what happens? Because it's coming under the ATO model actually. So the two-year warranty, and then here, what happens? You have the graphics card, it's shippable with us. But since we are not manufacturing, what happens? It will not be interface to shipping at all. But there are these two components. One is the cordless mouse, and then the pen drive, what happens? They will be interface to shipping actually, because they are the PTO items. So let us now go there, and then have a look at it. I click on done now. We'll now have a look at it now. Click on it now. <clears throat> so since it is not done, not done properly, fine. It is not showing you this now. Fine. Click on it. I will now click on the orchestration process. So click on the orchestration process and then have a look at this orchestration plan now. Have a look at it. Now what happens? It is now gone to awaiting shipping. So this awaiting shipping is only for these two components, the pin drive as well as the cordless mouse, right? not for the other ones, because they have to be manufactured actually. Because it is now saying back to back. So I have not set up the back to back at all. So because of which what happens, it is not done, done, done properly. They are not they are not getting enabled for the stop and go there. So they will not even be enabled for shipping as a stop and go there. We will now go and then query it now and go there, click on it. We will not take call. So click on plus one and then paste it over here. <clears throat> Come on. So go there and then here, what happens? Click on it and then go to the inventory directly. So click on the inventory now. And then I go there, click on it now. Go there, click on it. And then you go to the manage shipment lines. 9102 is the purchase order number. You can now see only two items will be coming now. 9102. And then give it tag now. Click on it. And then click on search now. So the PTO components here. If you see this now, fine, go there. Not this one. You go there. So here, the cordless mouse and then the pin drive will only be eligible for shipping actually. The remaining are not at manufacture actually. They are to be manufactured. Go there. Go there. So now you can see what happens. You know, the cordless mouse as well as the pen drive. Fine, there are only two items which are now eligible for shipping actually. Fine, select it. And then with the control, I'm selecting it now. No order for the shipment for this now. Is it ready to close? Fine. It has the shipment number is created 350095. It has now launched the big list. I have kept sufficient quantities of all the items actually. So well, I have done it. Fine, we have got around 1,000 items. Fine, no, 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 no. Items are sufficient, and so what happens? The launch pickle is not be having any problem as such. Click on it. So go to actions, and then go to what launch pickle is. Pickle is now. Click on pickle is. So it is not done. Fine. Click on okay now. <clears throat> the confirmation message is coming. So click on save and close now. So three five zero zero nine is not done, and it does not do the shipping also. Click on it. So it is now ready to release. If you go and then research it, it will be staged actually. Click on search again. It will be the stage now. To release the content is still running now. Sometimes click on search now. <clears throat> now it is now staged now. So it is all staged actually. Now what happens? You click on it and I will do the ship confirmation. You click on it. Let me do the ship confirmation of it now. So click on ship confirmation. So upon ship confirmation, what happens? It will be shipped actually. Fine. Ignore the warning messages. I already told you there. Click on yes now. And then it is not done. The ship confirmation is not done now. <clears throat> So it is not 
what happens that we're going to ship that and we're not going to ship and then the concurrent will be running for what happens the interfacing it to order entry actually fine the send ship on advice will be running now what about the print pick slip report what about the printer is not attached and then what happens the some of the concurrents will be failing actually fine doesn't matter but if you see this though, the ship confirmation documents is not running send shipment advice the one which is responsible for interfacing it from shipping execution to order entry it is equivalent to interface trip stop of ebis basically but for the circuit it's only send ship advice that's running now so print bill of lading report is not because what happened the printer is not properly configured if you do it what happens all the printing will be taking place very properly now so now the send shipment advice is now running so once when this completed what happens you can now see the order entry getting updated for these two things as what shipped and since we have left this at the half now fine the remaining ones you can click on done now the remaining ones are not manufactured what happens it will never consider those things at all if you see this if you see this now fine if you go on and have a look at the model now in the remaining ones if you go on and see this now the remaining ones are not manufactured at all so they are not at all interfaced to what happens uh, shipping execution as well as they will not be interfaced to order entry also the other uh, receivables also they will not go to the receivables because it is not at manufacture and ship actually but if you go on and see this now fine the status will now become what if you go on and click on this one the status will be going to awaiting billing actually only for those two components what happens they're now going to awaiting billing actually but only for those two components so it is not going to the wedding break but this is not correct actually because i have not set up everything properly and then when i run the order invoice it's failing actually at the hsd date and then there is no failing so uh, it's okay fine you want to set it on the no it is not wedding billing only for those two components fine the cordless mouse as well as the pen drive is only one so if you click on this now model no i will go now so here uh, you can now see uh, somewhere you can see this. you see a wedding billing a wedding billing is coming it is not option class is shipped it is not interface to ar at all because we are not going to bill it cordless mouse is going to be awaiting shipping billing because what happens we are going to bill it whereas the pen drive we are not going to bill him at all fine the pen drive is a free one and so what happens after shipping it is not stopping actually fine the cordless mouse just be billed to the customer no going to the billing and then this will never it be interface to ar at all and similarly this shows as awaiting billing actually what happens when i run the concurrent it is not showing anything at all any of this thing so what happens here yeah, the option class and then if you go on then expand it and then see what happens the agb ram is now showing awaiting billing but it has to be manufactured and then what happens is shipped and then afterwards only it will now go to the real awaiting billing actually so uh, uh, that is the way it has to get progress right but since what happens i have not set up the manufacturing so this completes the part 1 of my demonstration of a configurator actually so in part 2 what happens i will now first of all set up my organization for manufacturing this is 981 will be set for manufacturing and then afterwards what happens i will now set up the gop also the fine gop fine so that what happens it will be a back to back make basically and then afterwards once when i run the concurrent what happens it will be going in a very proper manner actually so a half part is now done it is just to show you about how they are all beginning but actually what happens you will not be doing it and then once in the configurator what happens you will be adding some more essence actually the configurator what happens once they set up will be adding more and more to it and so what happens it will not look like this now it will be it is an as gone actually the configurator set is at now so a structure is now set and then what happens it is now demonstrated on a one to is a very tough one when understanding this is a very tough one now. so remember what happens if you have understood everything very clearly that is nice excel so the next one what happens i will now create a, what happens i will now set up the organization for manufacturing and then i will now set up a routing also work definition with this at as so i will now associate all the finished goods to one of the operations basically and then afterwards uh, what i will do is i will now set up the back to back gop <coughs> back to back gop also will be set and then when i make a sales order it will be very perfect actually and i am now busy basically fine so a lot of works it will not take another uh, two days for me to again sit on the machine of fine i today i sat it and then i am now leaving now <laughs> so uh, wait for two days and then in the meantime what happens i again ask you all of you not to modify any of my what happens the components of my structure you try to create your own and then what happens experiment it you just view it and then what happens you create a sales order at all but uh, please don't modify the structure if you modify the structure i will be in a soup basically i will not be in a i had again sit down and create everything or otherwise i had to modify everything where i made a mistake right so please don't touch my structure but use this and then view it also right so we'll now soon meet on part 2 as far as the configurator is concerned right bye for now and then try to be for any clarification nana.app60@gmail.com bye for now